Hi everybody, welcome back to another Media Mogul review from Old Gamer Joe here, and wow, my head is racked, spinning, and throbbing from what I just experienced over the last several hours in Filament, a mind-bending puzzle game. This one comes from developer Beard Envy and was published by Casado Games. In Filament, you play as a character who finds themselves stuck on a ship known as the Alabaster. Your only link to the outside world is a pilot named Juniper who communicates with you via radio transmission. And as you begin to crack and slowly unravel the game's 300 or so puzzles, you start to learn more and more about her and what exactly happened that got you to this point. So I rather enjoyed this storytelling method. It's not overly in your face or full of long cutscenes with any kind of real cinematics to them. Just told through voiceovers and I can really appreciate that. It adds a sense of loneliness which this game is very good at creating. Yet despair and solitude aren't the only emotions that this game taps into as you will definitely feel great elation whenever you are able to solve one of the puzzles in this game which are very difficult depending on the room that you are in. And because you are given the option to explore this ship at free will, you can actually choose which puzzles you want to work on. So if a certain group of puzzles are stressing you out and you're unable to solve them, you can wander off and go to a different set of puzzles and work on that a little bit and kind of chip away at the game as a whole. Which I really like because certain types of puzzles in this game are definitely going to be taxing on your brain. So your main goal is to try to restore power to the ship essentially and that's done by being tethered to this rope and having to go around different pillars circling around them in a particular pattern and generally speaking you just trying to get them all to light up. This varies of course from room to room and the puzzles definitely change things up in a lot of interesting ways as you progress throughout the game. But that is the main concept. You want to try to create a pattern and light it up and get through to the next room. Like I said though, the developer does a great job of mixing things up and putting some variety on the same concept throughout the experience. There are rooms, for example, where you will have to light up certain colors by circling around them before you can circle around a different color, or rooms where you will actually have to control two robots at once to solve these fiendishly difficult puzzles that way. Whichever order you approach Filament in, you're going to definitely be challenged. These puzzles are clever and so satisfying to solve as well. They do take a long time depending on the room. I had puzzles in this game that I probably played for 30 to 45 minutes on their own. But once you do crack them, it is very satisfying. Just know that you are going to be pretty burnt out and it's not a game that you will necessarily want to marathon play. It is something that even despite the fact that I could go from room to room and change things up, I did have to walk away from at times just to kind of catch my breath, clear my head, and then I found when I returned to the game, I was able to solve the puzzles much quicker than if I had just continued to play and let the game beat me down without stepping away for a while. Filament is by no means a graphical powerhouse, however it does have a nice presentation. I enjoyed all of the different rooms in the ship and the variety in the settings. I do think that the music in this game is outstanding as well. It's really mood setting and it has a nice tone to it. Very relaxing, so it's almost a euphoric zen-like experience that you will have throughout this game. Solving these puzzles accompanied by an excellent soundtrack that really does kind of set your mind at ease and is a reminder to not get overly stressed out. At the end of the day though, Filament is a puzzle game at its core, and if you are not a fan of that genre, this will do absolutely nothing to change your mind. It is a very, very challenging game, so I think puzzle fans are absolutely in for a treat as long as they understand that this is going to be a difficult grinding experience. Hey, that's why we play puzzle games, right? To be challenged and to feel good about solving problems once we do manage to crack them. No puzzle game in recent memory exemplifies that more than Filament, which I absolutely fell in love with despite my frustrations with some of the puzzles. I can't recommend it enough, just know that you need to step away for a while, take a deep breath, and come back to it from time to time. Unless you are an absolute puzzle wizard, Filament is going to be a pretty lengthy experience that will keep you busy for a long time and ultimately reward you with an interesting story and a wonderful sense of accomplishment. For more on Filament and all of our other content, head on over to MediaMoogle.net where we have some awesome podcasts for you to listen to like I Dream of Indie, an indie game podcast. And if you have enjoyed our video content today, please do hit the subscribe button below because it helps us grow and make more and more content for you. Thank you so much for watching.